Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I'm going to show you how to use Soundflower to make very clean recordings for your video recordings of Bounce Metronome. So the reason you might be making video recordings in the first place is, for instance, you've got some rhythm that you're working with and you want to play it on, on your mobile device, you want to carry it around with you. So on iPad, iPhone, Blackberry, some Android or whatever device, whatever, anything that you can't run Bounce Metronome on. So you could just do what I'm doing here, which is I'm using QuickTime Player to record the screen. And then this is just recording the sound as it comes out of the microphone. And so the sound, you've got the conversion from digital to audio that comes out of the microphone and becomes an audio wave sound. And then you have all the ambient noise and there could be people walking around and sound of the fire, rain or whatever, and reverb, reverb. And then it comes back in through this microphone again and you can version of audio back to dig digital. So that's all, all very well. But, it, but if, you, if you want a very clean recording and you want to avoid all those conversions and the ambient sound, then you can use Soundflower. So Soundflower is a completely free program that you can download. I will give you the link. And it creates this flower, flower icon on the top there. If you don't see the flower icon, then you want to search for Soundflower and you find Soundflower Bed. And you do that and then the, the, this icon will pop up. So that then is Soundflower. So I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute. To, now to use it, you first have to go, go to the um, System Preferences and then you have to go to sound and you have to set it to so the sound is played on the sound is input sorry the sound output is you want to set that so the sound output goes to soundflower to channel so i'll just pop that there and that's what you want to select instead of the internal speakers. And then in Soundflower, and then in Soundflower, you have to set Soundflower to use the to use that sound because it's no good just sending it from there. You also get Soundflower to receive it. So you've got to set it to receive the built-in output. So it receives it there. And then finally, you then have to use it in, in your recording. So when you do your recording, then then when you do your screen recording, now I can't show you this because I'm in QuickTime, but the way you get to that is you go to QuickTime and you go to File and then you go to a new screen recording, which is grayed out because I'm doing a screen recording just now. And if you click on that, then you will see this window and then to the right, you will see this little drop menu, drop, out, uh, um, drop arrow, and then in that you select, you select Soundflower for input. So that's three things you've got to do. So the uh, Soundflower for output. So select Soundflower there. Built-in output in Soundflower itself. And Soundflower for recording in, in QuickTime Player. And then you should be good to go. And you should be able to get nice clean recordings for your, for your Bounce Metronome videos.